While taking a screenshot on macOS is a fairly straightforward affair, you may not be making the most of the feature. Here's how you can take your screenshotting skills to the next level in macOS. While holding down Shift-Command-3 or Shift-Command-4 can get you a screenshot in a snap, to get your full screenshot options, you want to hold down Shift-Command-5. This brings up a toolbar for you to use at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on Options will show you a bunch of settings, like showing your mouse pointer in a screenshot, setting a few seconds delay before an image is saved, and setting where your screenshots save by default. If you edit your screenshots often, you can select Preview to have them open in the app right after you take them. This does the same thing for Mail, Messages, and Clipboard. If you want your screenshots to save to a dedicated folder you've created, select Other Location. Navigate to it using the Finder window that pops up, then select Choose to set your folder. Once that's set, clicking on the far left screen icon will set the app to capture your full screen. Clicking on the middle window icon will switch the app over to capture an open window. Select the window you want to capture, then tap Return to take a screenshot of the highlighted window. Clicking on the third icon will create a window for you to adjust to capture a portion of your screen. Adjust the window to show what you want to capture, then tap Return to capture it. In all cases, if you just need to paste this one screenshot into a document and don't want to save it as a file, holding down your Command key, then tapping C after selecting your content, will copy it straight to your clipboard instead of saving it as a file. To cancel a screenshot, just tap your Escape key. After taking a screenshot, a floating thumbnail appears on the right by default. A simple click will open it to edit. You can also click and drag it into a folder to save or to an app to open. If you'd rather skip the thumbnail entirely so that your files save faster, you can toggle it off from the toolbar's options menu. As a bonus tip, if you have a MacBook with a touch bar, you can take a screenshot of it by holding down Shift-Command-6. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering macOS and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.